Okay, this is a video of Banggood's, basically this is a video of a four channel modified slow stick, but this is also a test of Banggood's little, if you can see that, I have heat shrink over it, but that's their little uh, four channel, uh, cheapy, what, $8 uh, free sky compatible uh, receiver. Uh, please excuse the rat's nest of wires there. It's just, it's just set in there just haphazardly to, to test this out. But um, yeah, we're gonna see. The range check went really good. It's got a ton of range, you know, supposedly from the range check that came up, that was really good. Over basically 100 and, 120, 125 steps, which is about 125 foot. I'm not sure what that would be in meters. Uh, here in America, but uh, overall very good. Uh, and uh, we're gonna see what it does in real world. This plane is a, a good test bed that I use for different receivers and whatnot. It's a good floaty plane, flies everywhere. Uh, happens to be very, very agreeable plane. Does really whatever. Um, and like I said, it's free sky. I'm using an uh, iTech Eclipse with modified uh, free sky module with uh, an antenna uh, just a regular uh, 2 DBI antenna so nothing special and this is their uh, park flyer receiver so we should be able to go pretty much pretty much right in in this area here this this soccer field and whatnot uh, that little church field over there should be able to go in there too which I have no doubt, no reason to believe it wouldn't as far as the range check goes. The range check went really well, so should be fine. So here we go. Ailerons, got a rudder, elevator, throttle, okay. So far so good, full control. I don't have an RSSI on this radio at all. I haven't used that yet. I'm very new to 2.4, so I don't have any kind of telemetry, although this module setup will, will give me that. Uh, so far, so good. I have full control over the plane. No problems out there. That's to the limit of my field for the most part. I'm, I'm into their field now. Still have good control. Everything looks fine. Full control, no problems. Very, very good. Big loops and turns. I'm not sure what the the meters are up there, or how high I am, anything. I wish I did, but this is, just to give you an idea, this is a regular, like a school ball field and whatnot. And this is probably two of those. I'm at the limit of those now, out there. That's a little church over there. I'm into their field at this point. I'm over there. And probably about, oh, probably 100 foot up, I would say, climbing now. Looks like I've hit some thermal. Oh yeah, you're going right up. And full control. So I would call that, that receiver is really nice for this little small field right here, this is about as far as I fly. I have no problem, no glitching, no missing commands. I haven't felt anything that I would call would be missing as far as, uh, you know, the planes rocking back and forth like I want it to. Still do a big loop, full throttle, big turn up there. And that's about as far away as I fly. It seems pretty good. So I would say that's pretty much, as far as like what I fly here, that's pretty good. It's a nice little breeze here.
What do we got for time? Seven minutes. Let's see how we do going up. Let's go over here and we'll go up a little bit and see. We'll keep going up a bit, up a little bit more. I don't normally fly this high. It's nice to know if I did, I have full control up there. I hope I'm keeping you guys in the shot. And I know my my cell phone camera up there isn't isn't the best for this. Big loop up there. So far so good. I mean for for an eight dollar receiver that's pretty good. Like I said, I don't have any telemetry set up on this module, although I could. It's going right up. Let me pull it back over this way. That's pretty far out. All right, let's bring it down. Let's do a dive. So that's a pretty good test, I would say. Like I said, this is about, it's about as far as I fly in this little park here, my schoolyard. And for what I do here, that's, that receiver works just fine. Can't say I, I actually need anything other than what, uh, what I got there. All right, let's bring it, bring it in for a low pass here. Turn into the wind, a little bit of throttle. We'll do a fast pass right by us here. There we go. Can't get much better than that. All right, so that's the video of the Free Sky compatible Banggood receiver. And uh, I'd say it passed the test pretty well. All right, I'll be ordering some more of those, it looks like. All right, thanks for watching.